Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, I'll be reacting to Karen's on the internet acting crazy. Let's get into it. So I ain't gonna get no Popeye's chicken. Don't fuck your chicken! I just lost my job! I have two kids! You? Are you serious you right now? You know what? You was rude! You know what? Should be made today, payday! That must be a skip because that made no sense to me that made no sense to me at all but you know what it's it's some interesting people that work at fast food restaurants I know sometimes some people are very hard-working and they're just doing it you know to live a good upstanding life but some people are very weird who work at fast food restaurants and are very unreliable and I'm very sad to say it but I don't know what else to say because what did we just witness? Ow! Just be quiet. Don't worry about me. You don't even care. Just be quiet. But I haven't done anything. I'm fine. She's not fine. I think she's drunk. I break nobody. I haven't done anything. Leave me alone. I'm getting up. Leave me alone! I said, leave me alone. Alright, let's go this way. Let's go. Oh, down now. For what reason? Right, you're you're going to go this okay, way. Okay, oh, hey, don't grab me. Okay, you're just going this way. I'm not grabbing you, you're going this way. Are you fucking kidding me? For what reason? Let's go. What are you doing? Girl, I don't even know you, but the reason is the plane can't take off because you refuse to sit down and your eyes are red and you seem drunk. Drunk and disorderly caught in the that's what I'm looking for. You are getting arrested for drunk and disorderly conduct. I'm not even the arresting officer and I can tell you what you've been arrested for. I'm very sorry. Oh, he just sat what? down. This, is, what's this wrong? isn't what's his seat. He's sitting in a seat that's not his. How do you know it's not his? What makes because I know that it's not his. Ma I can you please check and make sure that he goes oh. back to his seat? Man, this is his. I checked him all in on the way in. This is his seat. He belongs here. He paid no, for this. No, sorry, he doesn't belong in a seat. No, he's probably right back no. there. He's just trying to take a seat that was open. No, no. I paid a lot for. No. Wait a minute. If she paid a lot for her seat, and she knows where everybody's sitting in the itinerary, does she work for the airline? I'm trying to figure out why she knows that this is not the right seat for this man because. She all up in this man's business, and I just feel like he should get like a couple free plane tickets because this is racism. Let's, let's calm no. down. No, let's, let's calm down. I need you to please, please Let, the can fight, you get him the out. Fight, the fight hasn't even started. Okay, let's calm down. Let's get this figured out. No, I'm not calm. You're you not doing anything about okay. it. Okay. There's, nothing, it there's nothing for me to this do. This isn't about you, ma'am. What? No, it's okay. Can you please just, just do this your is just job your seat. and you remove him? Please remove him. Actually, I don't understand why uh, this is so difficult. We, we, we just this is first class. I love how the man is sitting. He's like the audacity, the racism, just the madness. This woman has no reason to be acting like this. What has this man done but sit there? I, I, Please, we have treat a solution. Me like we it. have a solution here, okay? We just found another open seat. Thank you. Okay? Oh, thank so, you. Thank you. I appreciate you're, it. You're going to have to take the seat. So, what? so you're gonna have to come back here. No, I'm not yeah, moving. We're gonna go seats. back to coach. No, no. Or, I paid so much money for this seat. This or, is my seat. Yeah, no, get her to the back. Or, no, if there's an extra seat, get her out of here. No, yeah. so absolutely if, not. If you no. don't like this, either you can come back and take this no. seat, or you no. can leave the plane. No, no, I'm not leaving. No, Th those are your only two no. options. Let's go. I, come on, get out. Let's go. No, I'm not leaving. No, Let's go, get out of here. Those were some perfect options. She didn't feel comfortable. Everybody else felt comfortable. Majority rules. Unfortunately, this is mostly a democracy in the world that we live in today. So yeah, since she's uncomfortable, she should absolutely move. The other person shouldn't move. You're uncomfortable, you should go. You should go. 
I'm going to move this. I'm going to stop this whole plane for you. You should leave the plane because you're uncomfortable. That's absolutely the way how it works. That's why you get, that's why when people get drunk and disorderly, just disorderly on the plane, the plane don't, I mean, the plane stops for a moment, but that person got to exit so that everybody else can continue on. Unless the whole plane going down, which God forbid, knock on my fake wood that I got right here, everybody go leave off and you go exit. No, 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 no. That's weird. Audacity is too much. You're not answering my questions. You're just saying you have procedures. You're not telling me what they are. Well, you should have done that when I asked you earlier. Maybe then I wouldn't have gone to this level. This is calm. Do you have children? Okay, so don't tell me to be calm. When my 10 year old's going somewhere where there's nobody there and she can't get to any of her family, and you're not answering my questions. Answer them now. Yeah, you're here last night. You're in the like Chinese That is the light right now because you are being so do they have, do they have young children that have been rerouted somewhere else and they're not getting information? You're not telling me how. You keep telling me that I'm upset. I'll be less upset when you tell me how. Don't about to tell me now. Uh, inappropriate. She's 10. How is that appropriate? female agent with the door locked by herself. So she's not going to be with another unaccompanied minor in that room. I want that information immediately. Because there's no way they're going to go to Salt Lake and have a flight come back to this. Oh my god. First of all, like, clearly she's a parent, so I can understand that why she's like, you know, she wants to be like, what's going on? What's this? What's that? And honestly just the way how she's like doing her thing i can imagine myself acting like that i absolutely can because you know i work in a client servicing position where i do interact with customers from you know i hear their voice i read their words so i can see how people get and i'm also a consumer i'm a consumer so i know how i get when i call into a call center or just like you know email into a company i can be really rude i'm like send me all the information email everything we talked about not like this is rude like i can be really like demanding or just be like really on top of my stuff i don't know if this situation with this karen is warranted for her to be acting like that but obviously i think in most situations with many parents they act like this because they're like i need to know sh make sure my kids safe me this is her kids first time flying but to be acting like that in public like that i'm telling you it must really 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 be warranted because otherwise it makes no sense whatsoever Why this blue car stop right now? Why this car blue? Why this blue car stop right now? This this happened to me a few days ago when I was driving and I was stuck in traffic, and this happened. I pull off going, and this person trying to pull into my car. I just, I literally stopped and looked at them like, "What are you doing? You're coming. You're indicating to come over. I'm going too fast. I'm not gonna slow down. So someone can't hit me in my back just so you can come over. You need to wait for me to pass by. Like that's why you have your mirrors. Oh my god. Are you from Kerry? Oh my god, not this big motherfucker. Are you Get that bro, get that homie, get him, get him. Because what the hell just happened? Hopefully they saw the whole thing and, and the, those people who's recording can go home and sleep easy at night and that man can really f fight somebody his size. I'm, we, she's in uh, 
Explorer. It's a Ford Explorer. It's a sport track. It's silver. This woman at the passenger window is impersonating as a police officer and has been following the two victims in this clip relentlessly by chasing them and going as far as ramming their vehicle and trying to pin them at whatever means necessary to get them to stop. Watch as the events unfold. She's telling you to pull over. Fuck you. Go. I'm not pulling over for you. Go past her. I'm not pulling over. Thank God. Dude. Do all these cars see this? I hope. Hello. Oh my oh god. Oh my god, go, 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 go. This is the craziest shit I've ever I've seen. I've never seen anything like this. I hope all these cars are calling the cops. Like I'm I have to drive fast to like get in front of I know, her. I know, I know. Like I almost want to stop and pull over at an exit. No, because then she'll get out of the car. Dude, I don't know what to fucking do! Just drive. Just I keep can, driving. Dude. I know. Just keep driving as well as you can. You're fine. I promise. Hi, we have a really bad emergency on Highway Nine or Highway 80, and we're right now passing Dutch Flat Road. We have a vehicle that has been following us, telling us that she's a cop, and keeps trying to tell us to pull over. And it's swerving in front of us. Yes, we're in the white Mazda. Yes, ma'am. And she's swerving us off the road. She keeps trying to hit us off the road. I'm fucking freaking out. She's pushing us off of the road. Yeah, she's pushing us off the road. She's coming for us. Put it in reverse. Put it in reverse, Vanessa. Put it in reverse. No, dude, no. Don't know what to do. They're telling us to exit. They're telling us to exit. She's standing in front of me, dude. We don't know what to do. Go. The CHP office is off of Dutch Flat. She's saying go straight to the CHP office. She's telling us that we're getting arrested. Dude, she's so fucking confusing. She's so fucking confusing. She hit us. Okay. Um, it says next right fuel. We're, we're trying. I don't know if we already passed Dutch Flat or not. I'm not really sure where we are right now. Um, yes, this is Dutch Flat. We're going to exit right now on Dutch Flat. Go to your right as soon as you exit. Please make sure somebody's right there. She's crazy. She's right Please. behind us. She's yes. Right after you right. Take another right. There's a 76 gas station. Take she's a definitely right. Definitely following me. There's a right. Take a right. I'm gonna... She said it's a really short little road. Take a right. Yes, we're taking a right right here. And she's then okay, she's gonna hit us. There's an officer parked right here in the vehicle. Can he help us, please? Can he help us, please? Go to the officer, go to the officer, go to the officer. Okay, okay, please. Make sure he helps us, please. Help us, please. My name's Delaney. T-R-Y-K-U-L. Yes, well, we're, we're at the 76. Yes, we're at the 76. Yes, ma'am. Okay, there's an officer right now with us. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you so much, ma'am. Bye-bye. Can we get away from her and talk to her? Sorry, I'm scared. I have it all. Police guided the victims to a waiting officer who caught this woman impersonating as a police officer. This incident took place in Auburn, California. The imposter was charged with assault with a deadly weapon, reckless driving, and resisting arrest. No, I don't know. I just... There must be mental illness involved because only someone who's crazy would want to impersonate an official and actually like try and hurt somebody in the process because that's taking it too far and she's she looks she looks elderly she looks old as hell she she, she can't she can't be acting like this she, she looks like she could have grandkids that thing had me on my toes. I'm so happy that the the person, the 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 the, the passenger was able to just stay super calm because that driver was getting real nervous. It was could it could have been bad. It could have they could have been hurt, especially if they hadn't gone into reverse and gotten off that highway. Oh my god! But I'm so happy they're safe, guys. That was so nerve wracking. It's important to stand up for yourself sometimes, but Karen's pushed a limit. They do things that are uncomfortable, they do things that are unwarranted, unneeded, unnecessary. 
they are just extra they just have pure audacity and when god made them they made them with just all the audacity in the world just went into all the karens and honestly karen if you're a karen come at me because i got something for you i'm joking i have nothing for you just i just have a good strong prayer for you which i'll give to you now god please help these karens because they need it badly amen Hopefully that reached you if you're a Karen. If you're someone who makes a big deal of small things, you're a Karen. If you're someone who can accept accountability, you're a Karen. If you're someone who is, I'm joking, I'm stopping now, I'm dragging it. Anyways, don't forget to like and subscribe. And thank you guys for watching.